नमस्ते एवरीवन एनीवन हैज एनी क्वेश्चंस wish to speak about something <clears throat> yesterday we met and we were reading some lines from vibhu gita i don't know people have read it or they know about it when you are alone i would say you should contemplate on vibhu gita whatever page you open you read the whole book is repetition of only one thing that i am not the body i am not the mind i am that pure existence consciousness bliss and rest everything is illusion it keeps on repeating in every chapter the same theme bhagwan used to say that even if you don't understand ribu gita keep repeating that repetition will make change in you it will bring you to the source you will move from reflection of egoistic tendencies to the pure self if you see satsang we call this satsang sitting together everyone who is in the source or trying to be in the source because that pure energy unfolds in all of us when we are looking for it same way you challenge this ego the ego disappears it stays as long as you are taking it as a truth and you don't challenge it in the whole scheme of things in spirituality we don't have to sort out too many things if someone is atheist they can also achieve the same without getting god involved it is so easy it is so non religious also i know in some countries half of the population is atheist they can do it because it's all work within you nothing external external we have to discard everything but once we start knowing this truth within us what happens is that even what this eyes show us around us we start seeing the divinity in everything we become more humble then this knowledge which we gain internally also helps us to understand all what is being said by various saints and gurus and teachers and religious founders so everything is the same coming from the same source but first thing first we should get ourselves established in that pure self within us be with that don't get frustrated by your personality or the way we behave because ego can behave in different ways in different people due to our conditioning 
which is not us. When you give up ownership, you start witnessing things. You start noticing subtle sensations, things, how the mind works. You know mind more when you are just witnessing it. Before we do any act, there is a thought, there is an intention. It is always about self-importance. Ego only knows about itself, nothing else. It gives importance to itself only. Our witnessing makes it disappear. This witnessing should be constant, continuous, all the time. When we slip and we act like ego, anger, greed, jealousy, fear, whatever it is, just watch it. Watch as uninvolved witness to all this happening. Everything happening is like a movie played by our mind. We are only viewing through these eyes all what is happening. But the one who is viewing can be of two types, one who is completely involved with the idea of I am the body and I am the mind and thoughts are mine. I have to follow these thoughts. I have to segregate, select, reject these thoughts. Compulsion to act on these thoughts to believe on these thoughts. There is no other trap except these thoughts coming in our head. If we detach from these thoughts, abide in the silence which is always there, there is nothing else to sort out. You don't have to do any postures or pranayam, meditate single pointedly on a source and no japa needed, nothing needed. All these aids are needed only to make yourself strong enough to be witness. So they are all helpful. But they are not the end of it. They are only tools. For some fortunate ones, they don't need that many tools. Just listening is enough. Those people are less conditioned, more simple, less clutter with them, or maybe no clutter. They listen and they get free. Sometimes not even listening, just being there. It depends how far we are from this self, how deep is our dream. Some people are already in lucid dream, they have this understanding. I have met people who have never been into spirituality and they say they always thought this all going around me is just a dream. I was always disinterested. And when they hear these Mahavakyas, 
लाइक अहम ब्रह्मास्मी आई एम दैट ब्रह्मन और आई एम दैट आई एम they they are just free by just listening to these words don't think one day spontaneously minds movie will finish and you will be free no mind has intentions desires likes dislikes it keep creating its own movie we have to be aware attentive only thing we have to take out of this mind is our interest whatever it is doing or not doing believe me this self in us once found will never get lost and this is so pure so beautiful we have never come across anything as pure as this things which appear sacred to us we bow down our head we feel humble we feel this thing is divine whether it's an ocean river tree mountain idol name scripture person this self is that where you bow down nobody can describe it only experience it not even experience it it is you it seems experience will come and go and it is in the domain of mind but this is you all the time it is with you all the acts of seeking pleasures drop immediately i would say it even drops for all the seekers much before there is full realization of the self knowing this we realize how gopis were mad in love for krishna or devotees of bhagwan when he was there or any other divine manifestation be the devotee of your own pure self you can never find anything as pure as this 
wherever we see purity it is this self only which emanates from that being from that thing it is the same self there are no stages to know it not seven births no higher ki nothing in the world we do things and we achieve here you give up doership only and you realize self Hello Andy, you want to ask something? Hey, good morning Sanjay. Good Happy morning. Here. Good to um, see you. Yeah, I just wanted to ask, um, what do you think is the importance of um, like talking about these spiritual concepts with another person on a daily basis um, in order to be able to get free from that, that ego? Like if we talk about the spiritual principles with someone else and connect with someone else or over them. Or do, yeah, I was just curious to get, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Andy, this is really a good question. And um, I would say it is of utmost importance and it's good to discuss because when you talk about something, you stay in that. And if, yeah. you, if you see, People do bhajans, they do prayers, they do read shlokas, some things you don't even understand. Let's say people listen to Aksharman Malay, which is in Tamil. And um, for non-Tamil speaking people, we don't understand anything. But there is a bhava, there is a emotion, there is a, that feeling in it to, for that, which is written by someone like Bhagwan uh, in praise of Arunachala. So, um, all this helps, all this helps, better than doing gossip about something, you know, talking about this. Yeah. Uh, look, I, I completely agree that um, th this always helps, always helps. Yeah. Putting, that means your, your mind is only interested in this. That's why it's talking to people and then you're getting people around uh, you with whom you can speak about it. Yeah. So yeah, it is good. Yeah, thank you. I've been doing that, trying to do that on a daily basis, and it's been helping just with sort of getting free from the ego. Um, mm. And yeah, been a good good practice. So yes, yeah. Yesterday we met um, and I was uh, reading something from um, uh, 
Devo Gita, which I can, I would like to read with all of you. I indeed am of the nature that is ever without a body. I indeed am of the nature that is ever without a body. I indeed am of the nature that is a mass of existence, consciousness, bliss. I indeed am of the nature that is a mass of existence, consciousness, bliss. I indeed am of the nature that is bondageless, supreme Brahman. I indeed am of the nature that is bondageless, supreme Brahman. I indeed am of the nature that is not touched by the bondage of the birth and death cycle. I indeed am of the nature that is not touched by the bondage of birth and death cycle. I indeed am of the nature that is without mind and such others. I indeed am of the nature that is without mind and such others. I indeed am of the nature of the Supreme, which is in finite consciousness. I indeed am of the nature of the Supreme, which is in finite consciousness. I am of the nature of the Supreme, which is limitless. I am of the nature of the Supreme, which is limitless. Become liberated by such daily conviction. Become liberated by such daily conviction. So when we discuss with others and we remind ourselves and others around us the same principle again and again and again, it dehypnotizes us from this illusory world from the I am the body idea. Sometimes it appears that things are not moving, but they are moving internally. Constant remembrance is the key. By paying attention to that awareness, by talking about that awareness, by doing japa, by bringing attention here, again and again and again. Some people's personality is that they can be devotee, they can be very persons who can surrender to the feet of that self in some way or the other which helps to melt away this ego. But for others who can't do that, they can just pay attention, contemplate on teaching. That is the path of knowledge. And surrender is path of devotion. They both can help. Another thing which can help is whatever work we are doing, do it from non-doership, as if things are just happening. Don't take credit or discredit. So stay in that awareness when we are doing work. Nishkam karm. Not looking into the fruit of action. Doing action as you are not doing it. No, I am the doer idea. I am the witness idea always. They are not mutually exclusive paths. 
कर्म योगा भक्ति योगा ज्ञान योगा दे आर ऑल इंटरटवाइंड एंड यू कैन यूज ऑल ऑफ देम इंक्लूडिंग ब्रीदिंग टेक्निक्स इट्स नॉट लाइक इफ यू आर यूजिंग दिस पाथ then you can't do other things and you have to stay away it's not like that i would say perhaps once you get some knowledge you become more humble you become devotee you praise the lord within you by singing bhajans prayers songs hymns sometimes people on path of seeking they start comparing teachings paths teachers no need each to his own maybe you don't like that path or that teacher or teaching or method but it might be good for someone else just stay focused on your own awareness work on it it's all our internal work no comparison whom would you compare with you are the source it is your world you have created your mind has created it is not external to us it appears external but it is coming from you only just as the dream came through you at night and during dream you thought it is external go beyond your mind abide in pure awareness there we all meet together as same there is no difference people talk about social revolutions leftist approach to life just abide in the source where everything is same equal impartial without any difference we are only awareness which is pure intelligence it exists all the time it never sleeps or wakes up or dream it is unchanging no external thing can increase or decrease bliss emanating from it it is only a mass of bliss only it is pure bliss independent of all external things when we see someone happy we ask that person why are you so happy because we always think there is a reason to be happy but this bliss that is its nature
nobody can know this only awareness can know our awareness stay as awareness when we say nobody else means no one's can mind can truly know it you can experience it you can see how the mind settles in presence of pure awareness but to know completely you have to transcend you have to jump into it you have to leave all what you thought you were that all is going on in a dream and the good thing is if you still think you don't want to completely go away you will realize even after waking this dream world is still going on but it loses significance for you it stops biting you it's like a snake without poison this poison is only ego ego gone there is no poison in this world everything becomes divine this pure self in us permeates everything pure intelligence is moving everything don't think that ego is intelligent that intelligence is in everything
find yourself in pure silence. Believe me, it is not boring. The silence is full of bliss. This is the reason these saints, sages, they live in caves in Himalayas alone, without anyone there. Because everyone what you see is projection of mind. When you attain your bliss, you are always in company of truth. And there is no mind which gets bored. It's only the mind which needs activities, not us. There are no unfinished tasks for you. Give up all this compulsion of next. Ego is always under the pump. That is why one life is short and we get next birth and next birth. Because mind gives importance to things, they are so important, I need to finish these things and then these things. Who has created these things? People get old and then they have responsibility of grandkids. They get older, then they have responsibility of great grandkids. And a jnani has no responsibility of even this body. Yet without responsibility of own body, he takes care of everything. Without speaking to anyone, without interacting with anyone.
yesterday i was talking to one of my friends his wife is sick he is a ramana devotee very nice man his name is wolf from german background lives in melbourne and uh, he has a friend in india who is a buddhist monk and that buddhist monk called him and told him that he had this vision his that wolf's wife has died who says like this you know without asking and he said no she is still alive and um, she is in hospital in alfred hospital and he said no no she died she left the body he said okay i can i can check if you are saying how long ago was that and then he told some time and then he called hospital after certain after speaking to nurses they found that she went into cardiac arrest and was revived people talk about science which science can explain this we have faith only in science not the divine in us that is the problem science has its limitations you cannot understand these things by science and he was making a joke and laughing about these things and he says when the science or doctors will talk the language of god when they will say that meditation prayer can heal people use that technique also that is more powerful these things keeps happening around us all the time but because of our egoistic mind as a scientist we don't accept this even someone comes gets completely cured we say it can happen one in one million you know but i have seen power of prayer all the time healing of body is a small thing healing of mind is more important and best healing of mind is when we abide in pure self atman give away all identification and stay there all the time one day this body will die it is approaching its end but we are not the body we cannot die 
we are that awareness which is experiencing this interaction through the body. We are only a visitor in this body. We are eternal, unchanging, body changes, mind changes. We are that unchanging principle. Right, right now using a body, speaking, interacting, moving, We are that principle which never dies. That awareness in all of us. If one body dies, let's say, the awareness stays. It is within and around and everywhere. Let's say you are the space in a room. And we demolish those walls which makes a room. That space will still be there. Where will it go? Death of the body is not the death of awareness. We know so many things in this world and we want to learn more. Most important thing is to be aware of awareness. Once we realize awareness, all relative knowledge loses its importance. You might still be doing those things as demand of your job or whatever. But all our identification goes away. The moment we realize we are nirgun, without any attributes, we are without name, without form, We don't need any external support to identify who we are. People talk about pure thoughts, good thoughts, good intentions. The best, purest thought is no thought, pure silence. Silence is divine. 
We are that silence. When you have no mind, then also you exist. You exist then fully. Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Arunachal Ramanaya May the blessings of Arunachal on all of us May the love of Ramana on all of us May all attain supreme bliss by knowing pure self Om Shanti Shanti, Shanti. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. You can also listen to Ribu Gita. I think Ruchi has recited it's um, on Conscious Circle. You can listen to that.